Western U.S. is battling wildfires across Oregon and California, which have now destroyed thousands of homes and half a dozen small towns. Authorities in Oregon have reduced the confirmed number of fatalities from 10 to 8. The state's Office of Emergency Management has confirmed that two of the reported fatalities were later identified as animal remains. The number of missing people has also been reduced from 22 to 16. Officials have provided the number of residences that have been destroyed by Oregon's wildfires, which now stands at 1,145. More than 16,600 firefighters are on the lines of more than two dozen major wildfires that have now scorched 5,000 square miles this year. Since the outbreak of massive fires on August 15th, there have been 25 fatalities reported. Dangerous dirty air spewing from the West Coast wildfires is now seeping into homes buildings and sneaking into cars through air conditioning vents. According to forecasters, people in Oregon, Washington State and California have been struggling for about a week or even longer under some of the most unhealthy air on the planet. The acrid yellow-green smog may linger for days or weeks even. And the air quality agency in the U.S. has extended an alert and the Alaska Airlines have stopped flights to Portland, Spokane and Washington for a period of 24 hours. Now, the Democratic vice presidential candidate, Senator Kamala Harris, has returned to her home state of California to tour an area damaged by devastating wildfires burning in the West. Harris visited a small foothill community of Aubrey as ash fell from the sky and a thick smell of smoke hung in the air. She was joined by Governor Gavin Newsom in her first trip to California as a Democratic, Democratic vice presidential nominee. Harris said that the climate crisis can't be detached from the other crises of public health, the economy, and systemic racism. But she didn't directly answer a question about how she and Joe Biden would prioritize the four if they win the White House. If were it not COVID, we'd still be probably wearing masks right now. This air is potentially toxic. Um, so when we are talking about the climate crisis, we are talking about a public health crisis in terms of clean air, the potential or not for clean water. Uh, so there, this, is a, this has a profound public health consequence. According to NASA, the wildfires burning on the U.S. West Coast are now sending carbon monoxide high into the atmosphere with concentrations at least seven times the normal amount. NASA has released animated visuals based on data sent by its atmospheric infrared sounder aboard the Aqua satellite, which has captured the plumes coming from California's wildfires. The animation shows the three-day averages of carbon monoxide concentrations around 5 kilometers up in the atmosphere between 6 to 14 September.